please follow the video on my channel. Well, I've had many other channels, but this is my first video on this channel. And today I'm going to be doing fall room decor. This video without. Because it would be boring. Okay, this is Kayla, everyone. Living like Kayla XOXO, -X 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 well, it'll be in the description box below. <laughs> okay, so we will be doing lots of different DIYs, fun, fall, <laughs> Sorry. yeah, two weeks. Um, there will be some cute kind of spooky Halloween things, not in this video, but in my next video, I'll be doing some fall stuff, which is next week. So that is actually right before kind of we will be doing. Oh, expectation versus reality of fall. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get started. The lighting is like really bright right now. Okay, guys. So the first thing that we're going to be doing for our DIY is with mason jars. jar you'll be needing these supplies so you're going to be confetti mod podge scissors and a ribbon of choice I got all of these from a really low price and you can find these at your house okay so I took the confetti out of this spirit container and I put it into my mason jar because I thought it looked really cute and you can fill it with whatever you want like pencils, anything. I had to cut off some of the edges because they were overflowing on top of the mason jar and it was really hard to close the jar with all this confetti everywhere. Next I opened up my Mod Podge and it tried to put it into the cap because I'm going to cover my mason jar, the outside of it, in Mod Podge so that the ribbon can stick to it. I would advise to put something down before doing this just because Mod Podge is sticky and can make a mess. Um, wrapping paper down because I got Mod Podge everywhere so I'm just taking some clear tape and taping it down to my desk and then working with the mason jar on there so I can get whatever it is messy onto it My ribbon by the way you can use whatever ribbon you like I liked this one because it had um, holes in it and it was silver and it matched the whole brown theme which is kind of the theme how I think of us fall but there was this rough edge so I kind of clean it up by making it you know a square I made it a little bit bigger than it was supposed to be because I wanted to wrap it around twice because the Mod Podge was seeping through it which gave me a chance to wrap it around twice and I thought it looked a lot better I did another layer of Mod Podge above the, the first layer of ribbon so that the second layer would stick and it worked out perfectly fine. Just covering up the edges was really hard so I would recommend doing one or two um, layers of that to cover up the edges. <laughs> 
Okay guys, so I took a real life fall leaf that I got from outside and I snipped off the stem a little bit and I thought it added really cute texture. And so what I did was I basically put Mod Podge over the end and I didn't want to sog the leaf way too much before I put it on so it didn't rip. So I recommend putting Mod Podge on the bottom first and work very, very carefully with Mod Podge. The way that I found out that works the best is by getting a huge clump of Mod Podge and pouring it on and then rubbing it with your fingers. You can try a paintbrush like I did, but it didn't work out way too well. For this one it did, but for my other mason jars, I felt like it didn't work out that well. So, I mean, I would recommend using your fingers, but right now I'm just applying Mod Podge all over the leaf to cover it. This is gonna keep it in place, and it's gonna make it look really cool with textures. It really outlines all the textures. Next room decor mason jar idea, you're going to be needing scissors, ribbon, confetti, and leaves, or yarn. First thing I did was took apart my mason jar and filled in with the things that I wanted. So I have two different types of confetti I used here. I used this kind of clear one with little bits of hearts in it. And then I decided to put in this blue fluff for um, bully wear this month. And then I added in some more of that confetti that I used and just chopped off the rest so that it could actually fit in. And this time I decided to put the mason jar on top so that none of the Mod Podge would leak through again. And by the way, I forgot to say, but you're going to be needing Mod Podge again. I love this mason jar so much because it's so cute and it adds a lot of pizzazz to your room. Taking clear tape, I took um, the ribbon and I took both ends and it aligned it with tape. And I'm gonna put it at the bottom of the mason jar. Um, I put it in the middle on this one, but I seen that it didn't work because it's gonna wrap around all the way to the top of the mason jar. I lined all the ribbon up. I took my leaves and placed them and scattered them all around the jar. Then I took my Mod Podge and spread it around with my fingers and again repeated the same steps. I would use fake leaves because they're way more durable because this one's a lot more challenging just because the leaves were really scrammy and since my leaves were not all in the same like area, they were all around in like a circular form. It was really hard because they kept falling off. So definitely fake lace would work better, but I just wanted to add my own little twist onto this. Final room decor thing that I did was taking a pillow and making my own fall pillowcase. All you'll be needing is an old pillow of yours and the fabric of your choice and a glue stick. It's that easy, no sew pillow. I chose this white fabric with this cute cream aligning because it was really fall. And then here comes that pumpkin orange ribbon. This was not shown in the clip, but I'm going to twine it around the pillow. This is going to be one of my decorative pillows. And all you're going to need to do is measure how big your pillow is. This matched perfectly fine with my pillow. I didn't even need to cut it at all. Um, but you're going to want it to be bigger than your pillow because you still have to glue it and fold it to make it look pretty. What I did was lay it on the floor because the fabric was quite large and I would recommend doing that because you have more workspace. All I did was measure it and um, see it fit perfectly fine and then all you're going to do is hot glue the ends together. And it was set to go. I did was um, glue it down my fabric so the first layer of my fabric I wanted to glue down onto the pillow just make sure this is a pillow that you're not going to use again because 
It has hot glue on it and you can't reuse it if you want to take the sheet off. So I'm using it by gluing the pillow down. There's many other methods you can use. I decided to do this way, um, but I'm gonna glue down the whole part. My hot glue gun was not working with me that time. I was having the worst troubles in the whole entire world. So I found another place to re-plug it in, but my hot glue gun was just not wanting to heat up. So these clips about um, basically the whole point of the hot gluing and that process in this video is quite a disaster. But you know how to do it. Here are some bloopers. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I fell short of ideas and I could not find any other thing since the hot glue gun wasn't working. So I used duct tape. You can say fail. F-A-I-L, man. But in reality, I think it turned out actually really, really well and really, really cute. my fall room decor video if you did please make sure to give it two thumbs up for the donation of these thumbs <laughs> and please make sure to subscribe if you are not already subscribed to see more amazing videos such like this one and without further ado if you haven't seen my last video then i'll have it in the description box below for you guys to watch and i'll see you guys next week bye is it ready is it going yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, and thank you so much, so much, so much, so much, so much to Kayla for filming this video and being in it. I love you so much, Kayla. And um, if you guys are not subscribed, really, really, you really should subscribe to her because she has a really funny video up that we are currently filming right now. So that is pretty awesome. And um, that is all I have to say. So again, bye guys. See you guys next week.